All right, everyone, welcome to today's video tutorial on using wikis and Acumatica. My name is Patrick O'Donnell from NIMS and Associates, and I will be walking you through this tutorial today. So before we start our tutorial today, I'd like to go over a quick agenda on what we're gonna cover today. So we'll first start off by talking about what is a wiki page. We'll go into the features and benefits and possible downsides, then we'll set up a wiki page, and then we'll go into that wiki page, give it some styling, and we'll wrap up with incorporating it into a dashboard, and then we'll go over a brief recap of what we've learned today. So what is a wiki page? I like to think of wiki pages as hubs to store information for both internal and external users. And there are multiple use cases for wiki pages in Acumatica, both pre-built and custom. Here are some of the features and benefits that Acumatica's wikis offer. So I like to think of them as system manuals for you know, consultants, VARs, and end users. As we said with the pre-built-in wikis, we have our own help dashboard. We have our own form-specific guides, as we'll see in the demo. And as I said before, things are highly customizable, so you can make corporate specific pages. Let's say you want to have a corporate lexicon for terms or certain sales processes, you can definitely make wiki pages for that. They're all encompassing, so you can have guides on functions, operators, parameters. You could have a manual for field service technicians. You could have, you could even have end user guides for how to install a product. So some of the values are, it's just more ammo in the quiver for VARs and consultants, and help is streamlined in one place. Now, there aren't too many downsides, and this may be on my end, but the creation can be a little glitchy. Now that we've gone over some of the features, benefits, and downsides, let's actually set up a live wiki page. Once we're logged in, we can access wiki pages by first going to System Management, and under Wiki Preferences, selecting Wiki. We can create a new Wiki by first filling out our ID, a new name, and under the Modern UI, we'll give this Wiki a section. We'll go with Quick Guides. We'll keep this checkbox selected so that we can show this Wiki on the Help Dashboard. We can access the Help Dashboard by selecting this question mark and opening up Open Help. The Help Dashboard is down here. We'll get into that a little bit later. We'll give this wiki a sequence of one, which signifies that it's at the top of the help articles. We don't have this wiki set up, but if we did, we could give it a default article. I'm also gonna give this wiki a classic UI sitemap location. We'll leave it under the Help section if we wanted to, under the approval section, we could hold this wiki for edit, or we could hold it for approval as well, if we had approval group set up. Under wiki settings, under look and feel, we can select a predetermined style from Acumatica. We'll make this a help article, which comes with the general help style CSS styling from Acumatica. Print style runs the same. Now we can select article type. We have two options here. We can go with a regular article or a KB article, which stands for knowledge base. The difference between article and KB article is that KB article allows users with the proper access, the ability to leave ratings and responses on articles. We'll just go with a regular article today. If we wanted to, we could set up a template for this wiki article. We also have header and footer options, we'll leave blank. We'll want to give this wiki a dashboard description. And if we wanted to, we could give it a default map site tag or a public virtual path. A public virtual path is a URL that directs users directly to the help article. Under the access rights tab, we can determine which roles in the system have access to this wiki. We can go from revoked access, which doesn't allow them to see the article. We have view only, we have edit, insert, publish, and then delete. 
under the tag section, we can give this article certain tags. If we give an article a tag, we have to process tag. When we process the tags, the tags apply to both the article and the subarticles. Under the locales section, we can set our language settings. Once we're ready to create the styling for our wiki, we can press save. To access this wiki, we can go back up to the question mark to open up our help guide. We'll go under the help dashboard and select Acumatica Educational Resources. Under quick guides, we can see our help wiki. Now that we've set up our wiki page, we're ready to style it and add some articles. Now that we're in our wiki page, we can start adding articles and subarticles. To add an article or a subarticle, let's click the plus sign to add a new article. By default, our article is in the deleted items folder, which comes default with all new wiki pages. Now, to make this its own folder, we can select the folder checkbox and we can change the parent folder to help wiki rather than deleted items. We're going to need to give our new folder an article a new article ID and an article name. Let's go with wiki help. We can make this article either a wiki or we can embed in HTML. We'll give this article some placeholder text. And we'll save it. As you can see here, we have a new folder called WikiHelp and our old folder called Deleted Items. To add articles and subarticles, we can press the Add New Article button. And by default, you can see here our articles are on hold. When we're ready to publish things, we can take them off hold by deselecting this checkbox. And we'll give this new subarticle a title. and we'll make this article type a wiki again. Now to add content, we can go over down here and we have a few things to choose from using Acumatica's dashboard language in the wiki markup language. We can make our text bold, we can italicize things, we can add certain headers, header one through header four. We can add boxes, we can embed inline code, we can create hint boxes, we have danger boxes and good practice boxes. We'll go a little bit into that later on in this video. We can also group articles by category and product ID. So if you open up the wiki products page or the wiki categories page, you can make different categories and product IDs that you can attach articles to. So if you have multiple articles set up, you can essentially tag them to a product ID. Under the Attachments tab, we can attach certain files, such as images. If we wanted to manage our files, we can select our file and press Edit. On the File Maintenance page that we've opened up, we can do things like deleting the file, uploading a new version of the file, or even getting the latest version of the file. Under the Access Rights tab, we can see the access rights that we gave in our original wiki page. Under Subarticles, we can see the subarticles that are attached under our parent folder. On the History tab, we can see all versions of our article. If we want to, we can actually compare two different versions. We select the source version checkbox and the compare to version checkbox, and then we press compare. Under the responses tab, if this article was a knowledge base article, we could see all responses and ratings. Now back on the content tab, we can give our article some basic content. Let's give this header one. Let's give this heading two, et cetera etc. We can also attach the image that was uploaded before. 
All we have to do is press get link, copy, and paste. Once we're done, we can press save. Here is our new wiki article. Now that we've created our wiki page and gave it some styling, we're ready to add it to the dashboard. Once we're on a dashboard page, we can come to the top, press design, add a new widget, and at the bottom, select wiki page. For wiki article, we'll go ahead and search for the article that we just created. Now that we've created a wiki page, gave it some styling and content, and added it to a dashboard, I'd like to end off with a brief recap of what we've learned today. Again, wikis are a hub to store information for both internal and external users. Acumatica comes with a plethora of pre-built wikis, and Acumatica gives you the option to create your own custom wikis. There are multiple use cases, let's say your sales team has a certain sales process, you can create a wiki page for prospecting, following up, and closing the sale. You can even create wikis as installation manuals and installation guides for field service workers. On the end user or external user side of things, you can also make user installation guides. And finally, you can think of them as places or vaults to store company information, whether sales processes again, company processes, or even a corporate lexicon of terms. And finally, wikis are easily applied to dashboards. This concludes our video tutorial for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Definitely leave us a comment on this video on whatever you liked, what you didn't like, please join us on LinkedIn. And here's all of our information. Thank you.